What's up, YouTube family? Back with another video. Y'all see the topic or the title of this video is a little different. I'm talking about pressure washing. Uh, for anybody that might be new to the channel that's watching this video, I'm just doing a short introduction about myself. Uh, really, I focus on this channel. It's really focusing on making extra money, the things that I do, making extra money. I got a, a child transportation business. But I do pressure wash and I do a few other things on the side. So uh, y'all can check out the other videos if y'all, you know, want to know other ways to make money. Um, and for my transportation people, you know, if y'all got husbands or whatever, you know, it's, it's a good business or side hustle, whatever you want to call it. Just, just an introduction. I'm going to just share a few tips. And if you ain't going until the end of the video, uh, I got a little short clip of my of my trailer and uh the picture is me you know the, uh showing y'all the storage room i just got i got a little clip of that too so it's like two different clips added to this video this is the beginning of it first i would tell you though this is for somebody that's just getting into the business that don't know anything about the business and just just what i learned uh it's a lot of youtube channels out here with a lot of good information you know, I, I'm definitely going to do a, a a video to shout those guys out, especially the ones that bless me tremendously and help me out so much, even though they probably don't even know it. But uh, so definitely get you a good YouTube person that you can follow, that you can learn a lot from uh, somebody that's going to keep everything simple uh, and simplicity. You know, that's the best type of channel you want to follow. Somebody that's going to keep everything straight and straight to the point. Sometimes people make things difficult. Um, next, I'm going to say uh, Facebook groups. Find you a good Facebook group. Sometimes Facebook groups can be a little hard. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes, you know, some guys have been in the industry for a long. They don't want to share too many tips. But I think the guys on uh Facebook, uh, I'm going to say on, on YouTube, they share a little bit more because their YouTube is, you know, they're trying to build a business behind that. So they're always going to share information because they always want to get views. So they're more likely to share a little bit more and talk to you a little bit more through YouTube. Uh, now, big channels, they probably be a little too busy, but, uh, you know, you can get help from Facebook groups, but I mean, you just got to find a good one. Uh, so I have got a little help off of Facebook group, but I've got more help from YouTube. Uh, next thing I would say, uh, first you got to know how you're going to get business. First thing I would say is uh, yard signs. I've got a lot of business off of yard signs. Actually, all of the work I got right now came strictly from yard signs. I haven't even stepped my game up and did like Google ads and stuff like that. I haven't even did Facebook marketing for real. I did it once and I got a uh I got a lead off of Facebook marketing. But all my all my leads and all my jobs that I do close, every last one of them came from y'all signs. Here down here where I'm at, uh they don't really trip on us about y'all signs. I put y'all signs out for my transportation business. I put y'all signs out for any business, man. Y'all signs work. It's proven they work. Uh, even me getting into wholesale housing right now, I just ordered a uh, hundred y'all signs. So I got videos coming on that later too. Uh, hopefully I, I, I let y'all see when I close my first deal. Back to pressure washing. So I will start there um with uh yard signs that would be the first thing i would start from uh you could put flat rate pricing on there but uh you really don't have to i did but now i wish i would have uh even on my video later on i got i got a, a minimum of 160 a house uh to come out but i wish i wouldn't have did that i'm gonna take them signs off my new trailer bill Cause at the end of the video, I'm gonna show y'all my 12, my six by 12 that I just got. Right now, I got a five by 10. But uh, to each his own. Some people do it. Some people work. I'm not gonna knock nobody. 
I'm not gonna knock the ninety-nine dollar guy. I'm not gonna knock nobody. There's enough money out here for everybody. But uh, I wouldn't use flat rate pricing to catch people's attention because I feel like you shortchange yourself. Because a lot of times people will pay more, you know. Because a lot of times to save out, I got a flat rate pricing of on one sixty or one fifty if I'm advertising that. Sometimes the person give you a twenty fifty. A twenty dollar tip, like I charged a guy one eighty the other day, and man, he gave me a fifty dollar tip. He gave me, that let me know his budget was more. You know what I'm saying? His budget was more, but I had already had him sold on the flat rate. Uh, something he had sold with my advertising with a flat rate. So just imagine if I didn't, I wouldn't have had that flat rate. But I mean, I guess it's catch twenty two because sometimes some people won't look for flat rate. They like that. But that's why I'm saying it all depends on your market and what type of people you're dealing with. But me, I'm not I'm not going with flat rate no more. I'm not putting out a flat rate price out there. But that's up to you. You can, it'll work. But I just realized you can get more money sometimes, but you kill yourself with the flat rate. And I've learned that from some of the YouTube guys. It's so true. But it's up to you and where you at with your business. If you want to do flat rate 150. 100 or have you gonna charge go ahead and do it you will get clients from yard signs i'm gonna tell you that uh so definitely do yard signs next thing we're gonna do i'm gonna try to keep this part of the video under 12 minutes next thing we're gonna do is uh because i want y'all to catch the whole video with me showing my setup and stuff i don't have the best setup but uh Sorry about that. I don't, I don't have the best setup. Like the big big boys. I only been doing this for three years, but I don't I had pretty good stuff. I would say I'm like in the middle. I would say. Uh I didn't upgrade all my hose rails and stuff. But I'ma say in the beginning, you really don't need all that. In the beginning, I would say start off with a full gallon per minute. Now what I'm learning about a full gallon per minute, y'all. Washing these older houses, man, it take a long, long time to rinse because you don't want to leave streaks. You don't want streaks drying up on the house once you leave. But uh, I got two full gallon per minute. I got a, uh, a belt drive and I got a direct drive. Uh, a direct drive with a cat pump brand new going to cost you about $1,300. I got my belt drive from the pawn shop for 750. Call all your local pawn shops, call around. You might catch a deal. Man, you can put one on layaway, get it off in a few weeks. Uh, dev, I, dev, I got two. The belt drive is a lot better. It can pull from that, excuse me, it can pull from that buffer tank real good. But some people houses can't even kick out four gallons per minute. Some can, some can't. I ran across some and can't. So that's why I got the buffer tank set up. I can hook the Siamese kit up and I can run eight gallons per minute, running two four gallon per minute machines together. You know, so first thing I would say, get a four gallon. You don't need a four gallon. You can start with a 2.5 gallon or something like that. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Get the blue and pink tip from Lowe's or order it off online. You can hit that uh, two story house, peak, house uh, the peaks. You can hit it with that uh, pink tip. Um, sorry about that. I'm about to order me a cup of coffee. Next thing you're going to need, you're going to need downstream injectors to pull your soap. You can start off with Walmart pool shot bleach 10%. You don't have to dilute it. You can run it straight through the downstream. But me, I try to scratch it if I got to use that. If I can't get a 12.5. Uh, I used to put four gallons of bleach in a five gallon bucket or container and I put a gallon of water in there. I don't have no issues with the plants. It eats everything up and do just fine. Uh, Cause you just running me around four gallons to wash your house, anywhere between four to five gallons to wash your house. But uh, next I would say uh, you really don't need holes real and stuff yet. If you really on a budget, just start. You know, I, I tote that joke around the house and do it like that. And I mean, 
that's really it. Just to start, you know, I can go on more depth in another video. But right now, just to start, I mean, if you're going to get insurance, go ahead and get it. But in the beginning, you ain't going to have no insurance, probably. Uh, definitely get all the practice you can get. Go to your uh, cousin's houses, your aunt's house, do some work for free just to get better. Uh, your detergent. I, I started off with Don. But I tell you, the uh, pressure wash community is smash about using Dawn. But I use Dawn. I keep a bottle of Dawn. But right now, I use the uh, the stuff that they recommend. But really, I really don't see no difference in it, man. If it is a difference in it, maybe. But I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, quick recap. You're going to need a pressure wash. You can start off with a smaller one. But I would suggest four gallon per minute. Uh... No, before that, you're going to have to add yard signs. You're going to need some way to advertise. Um, or Facebook. But I've seen more success from yard signs. I just made over $1,000 last week from yard signs. Hold on, let me order my coffee, y'all. Can I help you? Can I get a uh, large hot coffee with uh, cream and hazelnut? That'll be it. All right. Then you're going to, uh, for first you're going to have yeah, your marketing piece, yard signs. Uh, if you ain't trying to get in the internet and all that stuff, just to get started quick, you can, all that can happen later. Yard signs, a pressure washer, blue and pink tip. You know, take as many before and after pictures as possible when you get your first job. Get lots of practice doing uh family and friends houses um next thing you're gonna do after that uh you're gonna need a downstream injector you're gonna need like three five gallon buckets you can get them from walmart you can get the buckets from anywhere lows you're gonna need a few of them for your uh for your uh for when you're rinsing you can drop your downstream injector in your bucket of water that way you ain't gotta pull it out um and I think that's pretty much, that's it in the beginning, the first start. So uh, I'm going to show you all my, my trailer on this next uh, clip. And we're I going more depth with some more videos. Seven, two, two small steps, man. Checking out this, this garage for the pressure wash. I think it's 10 by 30. I thought it was going to be a 20 by 30. I think what you said, was 10, 10 by 30. By 30. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what I need. It'll fit both of my trailers in here. I'll probably put the 10 foot one back here. And then I'll put the back on some sweet candy. And I'll put the 12 foot one right here. And I'm gonna set me up some uh, some shelves with all my, my stuff. And, uh, I wish I could get a little bit wide. I'm just having to work with this right now. And I'll probably keep my reselling stuff in here. I just wanted to make this quick video. This is show you a small section that I can make. Even though we're doing transportation, always trying to make money on the side. Making money just doing whatever I can do. And I just want to show you all the steps. One day I might have my own shop. You know, you just never, I'm talking about a real storefront. So, you know, just, just showing y'all the process. Y'all be blessed. I'll catch y'all on another tip. I just want to show y'all the old, the old trailer. I, that first clip. You know, I got a minimum of one, uh, 160. Uh, if you get it, the house done, I go ahead and do a, uh, Dryway wash, I give them a little discount on this. This is a little pitch, but if I was y'all on my new trail, I would, I would not put no flat rate prices. I mean, that's just my opinion. Some people do it, but uh, please don't have nobody calling me, man. I built this myself. Little ladder rack, got a hose reel right here up high. Little cheap stuff. I ain't. I told you I ain't going to most. Of I just went with some regular garden hose reels. From uh, Lowe's. I got my two machines, four gallon per minute. That's the old one with the belt, regular direct drive. Just a simple setup. I'm gonna do some new 
plumbing on the, the uh, other trailer. See this trailer, y'all, uh, it ain't had no, I forgot what they call it, a little spring thing with the scrubs. It's straight uh, welded, little 14, 13 tires on there, man. Got a chemical tank, I think it's uh, 35 gallons. A little butler back there, you know. Man, I, man I've been pretty busy. I'm upgrading on the reel. Upgrading on the reel right there. Walk y'all around. Just all my other little stuff. I wash cars too, y'all. I got my soft wash, holes, 200 feet, 100 feet garden. Another reel. The washer went out on me, so I haven't been using it. I'm just going to go get the washer. I got to order it from uh, Northern Tool, and I'm going to put that one over there right here. But I'm going to build all that new. And I put it on a new trailer. Uh, 275 tote, 20 inch service clean up there. Built my little ladder rack. You know, that always matching. You know, look real professional coming down the road. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's good enough. But it's still not enough space when you're doing car washing and stuff, man. I got the vac over there, the shot vac. I want to have all my stuff on there. So it look pretty decent. I'm going to take y'all around back to the new trailer. Just in case I start doing some lawn. Lawn care. I got. I see my wife out there has made me think about it. Yeah. So I went with this. Still single axle. That's all I need. I'm going to spray paint this black. Spray paint it black. It's beefy. Went with the 15 inch wheels. 3,500 pound axle. You know, she beefy. Brand new, man. It'll hold me over. Just comes up. I can pull this up. It'll come out. That way when I get to the home on the house, the pressure washer, exhaust won't burn the wood up. But that come out later on, I'll probably get a uh, something welded, some iron welded across there. But I mean, it's fresh, it's brand new. It's pretty uh, deep, it's pretty high. But I'ma stick two pieces of plywood, I'ma get it cut. And I'm gonna slide it in. That's what it's made for, for you won't mess up your wood. I'm gonna slide that in and be, sit over top of the treated wood, two pieces of plywood. And uh, I start my build from there. I just wanted y'all to see it. it's a six by 12. It actually looked like it's a six by 14. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's gonna look real nice once I paint these black. You know, and it all depends on what color pickup truck I get I might go ahead and go over this gray right here but yeah that's it for that clip y'all so I'll let y'all see the bill me put everything on this one and I'm gonna use the uh five by ten for traveling trash and little stuff like that if I get jobs might throw a lawnmower on there have it work out catch y'all in the next clip